Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for March 2022, the month of action. And I've just recorded your general reading and it's really powerful. It's all about you standing up for what you believe in, taking back your power, knowing what you want and trusting in yourself to move things forward. So I'm really excited to see what your Twin Flame journey is bringing in. So we're going to use four decks of cards. The Divine Masculine Messages to Divine Feminine by Blue Eyes Tarot. The Divine Masculine Unmasked and the Angel Power Messages by John V. And the Beautiful Witches Tarot. So what do we need to know? And I also feel, you know, if you were cross-watching for your masculine, who's a Capricorn, he's taking back his power. So very powerful energy. So let's see what's happening there. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around Capricorn Twin Flames during March, the month of action? The month of action. And you're being reminded that action happens, even if you can't yet see the results. Things are always happening behind the scenes, under the surface. Things are always taking place. So have faith in your journey and the timing of it. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Capricorn Twin Flames? Wow, one card out of that deck. And one coming off the top there. What's the energy, please, angels, around Capricorn Twin Flames for March? Wow. Let's do this then. Let's see what's going on. So we're going to start with the masculine cards. Yes, I am obsessed with you. So he's letting you know he does feel the same way. And he can get a bit obsessive at times. He's saying, I don't want you with anybody else. I want to know what you were doing, thinking and feeling. So he could be feeling a bit jealous because you're taking back your power. So because you're doing you and you may even be setting some boundaries down and saying no and, you know, come back when you're healed or you're putting your own boundaries down if he wants you, you know, you're kind of thinking, well, am I ready? You know, I do feel as well some masculines may be wanting to meet up with you and you may, you know, either not have the time in that moment or it may not quite feel right and you're actually standing up and saying, I can't do that right now. Okay, so that I feel this is you actually replenishing you and taking back your power. And because of that, your masculine is kind of pretty obsessed with you, wondering what you're doing. He's saying to you, how can I be positive when all around I see are storms and destruction? So there's a lot of chaos going around your connection right now. Now, this could be around the connection itself or things falling apart for your twin, okay, because Things are happening, chaotic things, changes to move him out of the old energy to bring him into the new. So he may be going through some change, karmic breakdowns, karmic arguments, sorting things out. And he's like, wow, I'm struggling to be positive here. And you may not want to be around him because he's being negative to you or he's being, you know, he's in hurting energy and you're not wanting that. You're saying, no, I'm doing me. I know what's best for me. And this storm and chaos... I mean, we had a lot of storms around in February because things were moving around and changing and we were being shown that with that energy of the 222. But this is definitely saying, you know, you were ready for the storms in your life. If you need to walk away from something or change something around, you are feeling positive about the changes. For me, love is the sweet feeling I have for you. So it's about this journey being very sweet and loving. So when your twin flame thinks of you, you know, it's nothing but God. Your twin sees you as beautiful and kind and loving and there's no bitterness there. There's no pain. It's pain in his physical world. So you're being reminded to not take anything personally because it's never about you. It's always about them. I kept you on a pedestal and I lost my way back to you. So this is also showing you that your twin flame sometimes sees you as this goddess. And looks at you and thinks, wow, why do you want me? You know, putting you on this pedestal, wondering if they can ever live up to your expectations or who you are. And he's lost his way because of that. So he's letting you know he's been healing insecurity about being good enough for you. And seeing you just waiting for me makes me doubt you more. So what he's saying here is, well, you could have anyone you want. You know, why do you want me? So he's also dealing with insecurity about being good enough for you. You know, and he makes it, it, himself doubt the connection because he feels like it's too good to be true. You know, it's too good to be true. And that's his own fear. It's nothing you're doing wrong. I wish I had the courage to choose you earlier. I regret it. So he's saying, you know, I wish I'd made these decisions earlier and chose you then. 
But he's being reminded and you're being reminded it's never about him choosing the divine feminine. It's always about him choosing himself. So what he's realising here is all the regret is because he didn't put himself first. He didn't take action. It's nothing to do with choosing you because when he chooses himself, he'll always choose you. Our experiences of life are different. It's not easy to believe everything you say. So he's working it out himself because you're both going through different experiences of this journey. You're both maybe in different places. That could mean emotionally, spiritually. There could be other things in the way. So he's saying that I need to work it out myself. You know, so if he shut you down, if you've tried to explain what this journey is, he's kind of saying to you, I have to work it out myself. I want you to know how much I care. So he does love you and he does care. And he's saying that at the beginning, you know, I'm obsessed with you. I can't stop thinking about you. You know, I'm, I'm feeling you and trust me. And they're giving me tears. So I do feel he's experiencing some pain this month. You know, he's experiencing some pain and he's asking you to trust him because he is leaving the karmic situation. Very powerful. He is leaving behind anything no longer serves him and he's trying to detach. And this is where you are because you're detaching from drama. You're detaching from that. You know, you may have even said, you know, come back when you're free or I need to do me. So you're breaking free from your karmic binds and the things that drag you down and feel toxic to you and he's doing the same take a step back and look at the patterns of behavior emotions and feelings so you're healing the patterns of behavior that may have kept things going in a circle or a loop for so long and now you're breaking free you know what you want where you're going because you're focusing on service creativity and doing things that you love to do communicate your feelings and express your dreams in a creative manner so I definitely feel that this month you are working more on service and what you want to be doing and you're letting your twin get on with it and he will return when you're ready well when you're both ready when he's ready too but when you're ready too because you're learning to trust the journey and you hold the key to each other's heart so you're receiving epiphanies and aha moments and understanding during this month and if you have some sleepless nights it's the ego the ego that creates conflict and fear about communication about reunion about when this is going to take place and you're being shown here especially with this coming up in march you know that this is moving forward and you have support here you have support from this channel soul family people who get you and have your back and help you to detach from drama so you know if you're going through any drama right now sleepless night struggle let that go and trust that the message you want is coming and i really feel that communication ahead reunion sorting things out clearing the air but you're learning to trust your twin to find his way to sort himself out to leave his karmic situation to be free and capable and able to be with you I hope this helps. Have a great month and I'll see you soon.